you and your company have been at the centre of a very uh, high profile one at the moment with Candice Owens, who's now left Daily Wire. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? I'm not going to speak to this topic, Piers. At, at all? At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. Can, can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not, you can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, you can ask. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean I only, I'm only curious because I know what a, a staunch defender of free speech you are. And it would surprise me if it had been someone's opinions that would make you want to part company with them, however contentious. I mean, su suffice it to say, the only thing I will say is what I've said all along with regard to Candace or with regard to any of our other hosts. I am not in hiring and firing position with The Daily Wire. I'm a co-founder of The Daily Wire. I'm a co-owner of The Daily Wire. I'm not actually in management. Jeremy Boring and Caleb Robinson are in management positions with regard to Candace or anyone else. And as far as the free speech situation, what I will say is that no company has the obligation to literally pay anyone. The, the Daily Wire is a, is a publisher. It is not a platform. Uh, I've never called for Candace or anyone else, for that matter, to be banned from YouTube, to be banned from X, to be banned from any platform. That's a different story, obviously, when it comes to any publisher. Any publisher gets to make decisions about what it wishes to, uh, what it wishes to purvey and not. I mean, it's, I'm just not going to labour this, but one more point I would make is it's been reported extensively that the reason for her departure was because her comments have been perceived by people at the Daily Wire as anti-Semitic. Again, I'm, I'm not going to comment on this, Piers. OK. Rabbi Shmuley, would you comment on him? Because Jeremy has actually commented on Rabbi Shmuley. He said, I've avoided commenting publicly on Rabbi Shmuley because as far as I can tell, the man is an attention whore of the highest order. Is that the general position of the company on Mr Shmuley? I mean, that, that, that's my personal position for sure. I mean, I, I think that, you know, Rabbi Shmuley happens to be a person with whom I agree on some matters related to, say, Middle East policy. And uh, I, I also believe that his devotion to camera and notoriety have made him do some untethered things in, in recent days. I mean, there's a clip, I'm just going to play it, and you can comment or otherwise, but it was extraordinary to me. We've had him on this show a few times, but I found this really quite extraordinary. Let's take a look. Worm is a day of celebration. We feel bad for Candace Owens that she lost her job. So I figure with her image of what Jews are supposed to look like, why not val at least validate her? I am dressed up as a Candace Owens Jew. Now, this is not a Christian child, this is a Jewish child. But if it would be, I got my Christian blood. Mmm, spicy, delicious. I got my Jewish nose. I have filth, because Jews are all filth. And more than anything else, what does Andy have? Money! I mean, what is your reaction to that, to that clip? I mean, the phrase in Hebrew is that's what we would call a chilol Hashem, right? It's a, de it's a desecration of God's name. And that sort of behavior is, is disgusting in any context. Uh, and uh, frankly, I don't know an Orthodox Jew who feels differently about that, not one. Do you think he should be given airtime anymore, Rabbi Shmuley? I mean, I'm not going to make decisions about who should air him and, and who should not. Uh, what I will say is that the, that, that sort of behavior is untethered from reality and, and makes a mockery of much of the, uh, the mission for, for people like me, which includes fighting anti-Semitism. Yeah, but I get a lot of people, actually, after his most recent appearance here, just saying, this guy does not speak for most Jewish people like me. And they, they write in their droves and they say, please stop having someone on the... Well, I mean, that, I mean what he's like doing a... there certainly doesn't speak for literally any Jew that, I can, that I've heard of right. or know. I mean, I can't speak to his positions on Israel again. You know, my positions on Israel speak for my positions on Israel, but that's a different story from dressing up in a disturmer costume uh, to, to mock anti-Semitism. I think that that's quite you know, counterproductive and, and especially given the, the online discourse, pretty, pretty negative in, in pretty much every way I can think of. Yeah.